Mary Gowans described the former student who has accused her of sexual assault as a nice, friendly, polite boy whom she taught in grade 7 and 8. But when the 42-year-old former Joseph Howe senior public school teacher was asked if she ever had a sexual relationship with the teen, she said, no, I did not. On the stand, Gowans was asked about the year she taught the teen grade 8 French. Quote, did he touch your breast? No, I think I would have remembered. Did he spank you with a meter stick on the buttocks? No, she said. The French teacher denied she ran without a bra with the teen to be provocative, even showing the judge one of her running tops with a built-in bra for support. When asked if after losing a race to the teen, she wore a wet t-shirt to settle a bet, she said she would never agree to that, nor did she have knowledge he had been pining for her for years. Gowans's lawyer, Peter Browdy, pressed his client about the nature of their relationship. Has the teen ever seen your breasts? No, Gowan replied. Has he ever touched your breasts? No. Did you ever touch him in a sexual way? No. Let him touch you in the crotch area? No, I did not. The teen whose identity is protected by law was taken out for his birthday with Gowans and her children. She admits she hugged him and said happy birthday and may have kissed him on the cheek but denied it was in a sexual way. Quote, at this point, I thought of him as a member of our family. On January 5th, 2010, she said the 15-year-old was over babysitting while she was home. The kids were playing hide and seek. I leaned in to tell him where my son was hiding. He turned and kissed me and put his hand on my crotch. I was extremely shocked and overwhelmed. This was right out of the blue for me. I couldn't believe this was happening. Gowan says she drove him home and later he texted her sorry. She told him she was very upset and said she didn't know what she was going to do. She knew he wasn't coming back to babysit. He asked if I was going to call his parents. Gowan says she was not sure. She told him they could no longer have contact and a week later she was arrested for sexual assault. Today in court we heard from a representative with a cell phone company and she said that the two exchanged more than 2,200 text messages in the year before Gowan's arrest. She said they were mostly conversations about babysitting and hockey. They were not sexual in nature and when asked why were you texting him late at night, she said they were in response to him. She thought nothing of it. As for Gowan's personal life, she said the two, she and her husband separated after her arrest because of the stress and they have since divorced. The former teacher will be back on the stand for cross-examination in the morning.